हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ट्यूटोरियल सेवन ऑफ पीएलएसआई डिजाइन फ्लो आरटीएल टू जीडीएस माय नेम इज पूजा बेनीवाल एंड आई एम पीएचडी स्टूडेंट एट ट्रिपल आईटी दिल्ली आई विल बी योर टीए फॉर दिस कोर्स टुडे इज ट्यूटोरियल ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू गेट हैंड्स ऑन एक्सपीरियंस ऑन द ओपन सोर्स टूल ओपन एस ओपन एस इज यूज टू डू स्टेटिक टाइमिंग एनालिसिस इन डिजिटल डिजाइंस एट द गेट लेवल now let's move into the tutorial in today tutorial we will be needing the open sta tool and the verilog file top.v test.tcl and the constraint file that is top.sgc and technology library that is toy.lab all these files are available at the naptel website under the study material for week 7 This tutorial is divided into two part installation and how to run the open sta First you have to make sure that you have all of these dependencies installed and uh, the way to install them is already shown in the previous tutorial To install open sta we have to follow these steps First we will use git clone command to clone the open sta repo from the github git clone command will copy the rev github repo over for open sta into your local machine now we can see that open sta is already copied we will move into the open sta directory and will create a build folder inside it now we'll move into this build file and start the configuration of the build process through the cmake command we'll build open sta using make command the make command will compile the source code and will generate the executable file it will take few minutes to run this now we will finally install open sta using sudo make install Open STA has been installed. Now we will invoke STA and verify that installation is the success. As you can see here, environment has been opened of STA means of a Open STA has been ex installed. Exit command is used here to exit from this environment. Now we will move into the second part, that is how to run Open STA. As you can see here, Open STA. Uh, needed these four files that is verilog netlist constraint file library file and the tickle file and provide you the report this report can be in text format or you can get it on the terminal only here you can see that i have already stored this file in the folder experiment all these four files are in my folder experiment you can get these files on the naptel website and store in your folder now one by one i will show you the contents of these file first we will look into the netlist this is the netlist of the design shown here as we can see ab and clock is the input and reset is also the input ab clock reset and out is the output output this is the netlist of this design you can have any other netlist also now the next file that is constraint file
कंस्टेन फाइल कंटेन द कंस्टेन फॉर द डिज़ाइन हेयर द फर्स्ट कमांड क्रिएट क्लॉक माइनस नेम कैपिटल सी एल के पी एड थाउजेंड गेट पोट क्लॉक विल क्रिएट अ क्लॉक नेम के ऑफ सी एल के दैट इज़ कैपिटल सी एल के एंड दिज ऑफ पी एड थाउजेंड पीको सेकेंड द यूनिट पीको सेकेंड वी गेट फ्रॉम द लाइब्रेरी फाइल एंड द पोर्ट क्लॉक मीन्स द सोर्स फॉर दिस क्लॉक इज स्मॉल सी एल के क्लॉक द सेकेंड कमांड हेयर विच सेट द डिले कंस्ट्रेन फॉर द इनपुट पोर्ट ए विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द क्लॉक सी एल के दैट इज ऑफ फाइव पीको सेकेंड इंडिकेटिंग दैट द अरावल टाइम फॉर इनपुट ए विल बी टेकन एज फाइव पीको सेकेंड सेम विल बी फॉर द थर्ड कमांड दैट विल बी सेट द कंस्ट्रेन फॉर पोर्ट बी और फाइव पीको सेकेंड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द क्लॉक set output delay will set the output constraint for the put out now we will move to the toy.lib toy.lib is the toy library created for learning purpose only so the library file contains the timing model for each standard cell for example here we can see this nand gate for the slew here at a2 and the load capacitance at zn for this is arc the delay will be model in this library and we take the delay from here and sta analysis is done more details about this toy dot library will be shown in the next tutorial now we will move to the test dot tcl test dot tcl contain the series of commands which at open sta will run these are the four commands i have kept in test.tcl you can also use report commands also in this file only read liberty toy.lib this command will read and load the library file read verilog top.v it will load the netlist link design top it will link the design with the timing cell here top is the main module of the design read as you see top dot as you see will read the constraint file now we will see the invoke command of sta that is sta and source test dot is here is used to run the commands which i have already shown you now i will show you how to execute this command the test.tcl has already been executed now i want to get the reports of the timing checks so for that i will be using these commands report check part delay max minus format full and report check minus part delay min for minus format full you can also use this command this will generate the report in the text file now we'll explain what kind of results we are getting in this report the command report check minus part delay max will check the delay in the maximum delay path and setup check is done here here starting point is your flip flop f1 that is here and end point is your flip flop f2 this is here the path group is clock here is only one clock clk so for Uh, other thing, other reports also the path group will be clock only, and part time is max, the maximum delay path. Now we will see what we are getting in the report. For first, F1 clock, there is no delay between F1 clock. Then I F1 to Q. Here we are getting 5.66 delay. For I two, one point six three. For I two, 
it is 1.63 for b1 5.20 5.20 and for n1 n1 we are getting 1.91 second 1.91 second and for i3 1.85 picosecond 1.85 picosecond so what will be our data arrival time it will be the sum of all these delay and we can see that it is here 16.25 picosecond here clock is 1000 picosecond which we have given in already in the constraint because setup check is done on the next clock cycle so clock period here will be considered library setup time library setup time is taken from the library there it is of 8.3 picosecond 8.36 picosecond so we have subtracted this from the clock and we got the data required time that is 991.64 picosecond so what will be the slack the slack will be the data required time minus data arrival time so this is our slack here we can see that our slack is positive means no setup violation is happening in the design now we will check about the whole violations whole violation check is done on the minimum delay part so this is the command for set whole check the reports after running the check for hold violation is this here is the starting point is f2 which is this flip flop and end point is f3 which is this flip flop so the whole check is done between this flip flop and this flip flop which has the minimum delay present here f2 delay is of 5.85 picoseconds from clock to q 5.85 picosecond and therefore data arrival time will be of 5.85 picosecond there there is no combination logic between those these flip flop therefore others there is no delay for other things therefore our arrival time is here 5.85 picosecond whole check is done on the same clock edge therefore we do not consider clock period here so there is no clock period library hold time we get library hold time from the dot left file that is a 1.70 picosecond for the f3 flip flop for whole check we subtract data required time from the data arrival time after doing this we get 4.15 of slack which is also positive means also there is no hold violation for more information on the OpenSTA, you can go to this link. For more information on the commands of OpenSTA, you can use this link. And if anyone is getting this error, uh, he can get it resolved by looking to into this. Now, I will exit from this tool. Thank you. Thank you.